hear on the island so door we here on the famous Northwestern Railway, Sir Tom Hack needs to call upon the engines of the Iron Soda to help him deal with British Railroad. You're watching these are stories of the Iron. Here on the Garlowy Railway, we can haul stuff over a large distance. That's what we plan to do. So, so, so come and train right with us, all, all aboard! Here on the Odyssey Manager, we have some stories to tell, right, Ma right, YouTube? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Here. On the Colifel Mountain Railroad, we can Let me show you climbing this hill. It takes us a lot, even us out of a mountain climbing train like us. When, but you will soon see, and these are the stories of the island. You're watching these are the stories of the island. Right, guys? Right, Thomas? Let go! So, that's my story. What do you think of it? Wow, that's some story, Thomas. No wonder you have trouble telling. Is it true that the Rotten Railway was the real cause that made you go broke? Or it was the, did you over-exaggerate? You said there were more to tell. I'm hoping we can get some official answer from you. You. Thomas said, No. This is all I've been wanting to tell about my old line. And the life I used to lead on. But I'm... Hey guys, cheer up. At least I told you my, the story about my old line. I'm, I've not told anyone about it. Before. Really? No one? Said... The James in a loud voice? No. No. But there's a reason. Like I just said, my old line, whenever I mention my, can I just... Thomas? Miss? You, I think you need to go down. I think it... Thomas? What, Gordon? As Tom is about being turned, and he said, I will see you later. It's still night, so I'm, I'm going back to Farquhar Sheds. As everyone was still shocked. But Thomas. But Thomas. Mention his whole line, man. He didn't want to go to sleep again. Just to have the nightmares of what happened to who was alive. So he said, you know what? I'm gonna run away from the island so long. I was, you know what? You know how it's pretty still dark outside? No one will find me. I know I'm using someone else's idea, but Thomas, after telling the story, he just wants to get away to be somewhere quiet. He just wants to be in peace for a minute. After telling the story of his own line, Thomas doesn't... That's why Thomas does... Um, as Thomas popped back in to Far Core Sheds, he said, um, listen, guys, I, I, even though it's not kind of day, I, 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 I'm going to be on a moonlight with her top of my hat with Anne and Clarabelle. I'll huff and chuff all through the night. 
Tommy wanted Jet to go somewhere to get some peace and quiet. He just, after telling that how random story to, after I told that horrendous story to the en engines, I knew, I knew I, I didn't need to go to work, even though it was still dark outside. I had an idea. I will, I don't think engine can run away. I don't think engine can run away. At least I did not know. Wow. Any Clarabelle? What? I'm just fat. Why? I told that horrendous story. Really? And no. No. I'm just feel fat. And I told them I will be asleep in my chef at Far Court Station until morning. By the way, where will you sleep until morning? At my j at Naffer Station. That peaceful until morning comes. Even though I'm not really. A place where I could wrap my wheels. I will go sleep there. I revert back to my old day. Stay back on my old line. What you mean? Back then, I used to sleep whenever I got wrapped out. I used to sleep in the sh then in the sheds in a nearby side until morning. As Sir Top Hat said, "Good morning, engine. How do you sleep?" We slept fine, sir. I had a wonderful dream last night. So how do you sleep? Fine. Except Tommy woke us up. Ooh. To tell us a story about his old line. Yeah. And it was... Huh. Really... Bad. Really sad, sir. He... He told me... Me how... His old mind never recovered after the rock railway. After the rock railway. Can you go talk, talk to him and say, We want, we want Thomas to sleep with us here at Tim Michette's. Donald Douglas, can you, do you want to be removed? Oh, sure. But why? Because Thomas is... Uh, so Thomas had actually no story that Thomas had told him about his own line. But he said, Sir, why are you not surprised? Because... Because Thomas told me himself this story. Oh. So... So... Where is he? He should be asleep at Far Corset. That way... He said, all right, good night. I saw Tom Pat ran to Farquhar Chefs. He said, "Good morning, Thomas." Miss Th Thomas said, "Then said he w he would get a jump on the day." Thomas said, "He he wanted to get a jump on the day." Ah, so he made up a lie, sir. He should be over at Nafford Station. Waiting for you. Okay. Good morning. The sun's so bright today. Anyway, good morning. And good morning, Clarabelle. Ready to get jump in the day? Good morning, Thomas. Oh, good morning, sir. Oh, good morning, sir. Why are you sleeping here? Oh, sorry. I fell back into my old habit from my old day working for my old day. My 
I, I, I wanted to feel like I was on my own line again. Again. One last time. What you mean you wanted to feel like you were on your own line? One last time. There were no sheds, sir. There were... There were at... At... I think... I think... York? Where my line started? Oh, but the... But... All these sheds were overflow with engines. There's non-faceless and faceless. Like me and my buddy. Okay. So I ha had to often sleep in the sheds. I had to often sleep in the stations. Shins. Really, Thomas? Miss? You should get to work. But tonight, don't sleep here. I need you for something. Got it. As Thomas said. And Thomas left Snapper to go down his branch line. He said, and he kind of about again was going to jump on the day. I said to Sir Topham, we will get a jump on the day, and we're going to jump on the day. Okay. By going all the way down to Farquhar. I should have... So what you mean by you, you used to get... That's how you used to sleep. Didn't it? Sure, there were no... Sure, sure, sure if it rained, I was, I was per safe, but then it blew, blew wind, but there was a shed under compression before my line closed. It's only for, that last station was only for passengers. So, so that, so there was there was only one shed on my entire line. And Thomas ha ah, the sun and bright the rails are hot on a beautiful day like today, said Thomas. But I'm hearing some we can, we're gonna get some delivery be a piff. Our new, our, our new diesels called Piff and Emma. Indeed, we are. I don't know who they are, but they're going to be all important for the next video. Yo. As Thomas turned onto a branch line, he, he said, Oh, I could have slept here last night. I know Aubrey was here yesterday, and, oh, as the station master, Jeffrey, said, You're on your way ahead of devil, Thomas. Thank you. That's how the LNR used to run back in the days of the Big Four. Oh, I had a devil. So, so, so yeah. Um, is it true that we got some new rivals yesterday? Yeah, we got Mr. A uh, uh, Mr. Fergus Duncan, who will be in charge of the all deal manager. Oh.
But we have a, a new engine. Again? Who is it? Which, no, she just returned from a lightly overhaul on the mainland. Meet Mavis, Thomas. Oh, hi, Mavis. Oh, hi, Thomas. And you know what? We're gonna make her run. Your brain. She couldn't handle the stuff up at the far core quarry. But then. Well, have you heard what BR has done, Thomas? No. What have they done this time, he said. They're starting to grab. They're starting to grab. Gulp. Steam engine? No, they're starting to grab the. They're starting to grab. For some reason, the vessel. The vet. The Metropolitan v v Records Type 2 Class 28. We bought Boko prior to the BR grappling on them. Prior to BR grappling on them. Why would they, why would they make them and then, and then, and then, and then something crap on them? Beyond me, what, unless there's a real problem with the Metropolitan Vickers Diesel Electric Type 2 Class 28. Oh. At Boko would just get warmed up before his first run, he said, Oh, sorry, sorry, Arthur. What? <clears throat> As Arthur took forever to start up, his driver made sure that he had enough coal and water. But, but, but then... Arthur wouldn't start up. He said, probably nothing. Probably nothing. <laughs> Here I go. Oh, bother. They're going to grab me. I mean, for sure, because I broke down. Diesel was promoted. Well, t since the last time, Diesel, Diesel was still. He, Sir Top. He was still serving his sentence. One more day. He said. Yeah, one more thing. Hey, I used to also call it probably. I was only built before BR, but I just got that that asked onto my tender, said Jeffrey to Diesel. Now you tell me. As, as this business engine from the. That was trying to. Don't worry, Arthur. I will tell you to the worst. But no. I'm Sir Tom Patrick called the lovely fourth railway in the town of. Well, most of the engines in this shed were either bought by Tom Patrick or at least Sir Tom Patrick wanted to send them to Night Heritage sites. This one, seven, 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 eight, was sent to a lovely heritage site somewhere else. Just as Arthur said, maybe I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm just a useless puffball. Well, Diesel Ten was right. We are just useless puffballs. He said that that all steam engines are work. But 
Look. Well, well, Jeffrey is also waiting trial because of his incident with, with Diesel. Jeffrey's also waiting trial. I can get you to the worst, but I have to call a good train. Today, right now. At, at Boko left. Maybe you can get. Hey, Boko. Go. Yeah. If you pass the worst. If you pass the worst. Yeah, can you tell Don or Douglas or someone to send some workmen over? Right, this is my print. Now let me show you what the BR Con 22 The Metropolitan Vickers Diesel Leopard Type Class 28 can really do. At Boko said to his operator, "Chill out, Boko. You're acting, you're acting like a steam engine." Chill out, Boko. You're acting like a steam engine almost. I know you want to prove through press their hop them. Hat. I know you want to press her top of hat. Eric, I wish I had hair like Bulbix that looks so shiny. He, so he, you touch it. You're just about the cutest little Pokemon I've ever seen. Uh, Boko, go have to haul this really heavy prank all the way to Vickertown. As, as, both Right. As Boko go had to go, go back for another load, he went, he said, Oh my grease and oil. Don't worry, Arthur, I will bring workmen. Don't worry, Arthur, I will bring you workmen. Like, I... And Boko had to get five shipments from the harbor that day, but his engine wasn't really good. And so, Brock must continue down his own path to becoming a Pokemon breeder. With Volpex, he has a new friend on his journey, and he has a new determination to be the greatest Pokemon breeder of all time. <laughs> And Boko go was And Boko knew that this track wouldn't go anywhere near that the that this is terrifying for Henry. He's... 
she said, oh my gosh, it's an oil. Again, another one. At Boko, go. When we went on the main line. Which is heavy good train. He said. A Boko said, you know, I will continue you on the main line. <laughs> eh, come on, come on, car. As he went a little faster. As he... At least there's no junction. Huh. At Boko, Larry Light. How? Why is it long? Well, he started to feel sick. Like weak. Like he was almost... As, to as he said, that's I have to pass through another kind of junction. The, f the far far junction. But he, as he said, if I break down, can you, <laughs> just in case. As he said, Phew. Okay, him on Chan, ready for a match. Phew, do no signals I need to cross. Unless I need. Phew, there's a own. As Bo Boko go with, with his heavy car, struggle. As Boko struggled. But Black Monk Mills and Bogo. And Bogo said, if I can only meet this lot of wells where as he knew, I, I, I had to go up and over. Going to hell with the last five shipments.
his trainer. I guess it wasn't wild. Daddy! Daddy, please come home! Rebecca? Daddy, please quit Pokemon training and come home with me! I won't come home until I become champion in the P1 Grand Prix. Daddy! I'll be in the gym taking on challenges. The gym's that way. I'll be waiting for you. A Boko felt even sicker, like he thought he 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 said. Oh, oh, uh, feel so sick, driver. Well, we're here at Wellsworth if you want to stop. As he said, uh, 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 can I uncouple and leave it there for another engine? Who do you want to take this? If you, I don't know. Henry, maybe? Henry? He's the only one I can think of. I Boko with Larry. I Boko. I Boko decided to go rest, and he said. Ah, uh, my grease oil are... I've read up. I've been... Bogo said, huh. uh, As the phone call called Bogo crew decided to make, decided to make all the way to 10 minutes, but that's a story for another time. Maybe that would be. So 19. But that's a story for another time. Hey Ash, what's the matter? Uh, nothing, I guess. And Thomas said, based on how Boko just blurred out at Wildworth, I can see why BR would grab an engine like that. All over. I can't believe we had to wait until now to talk about Tom. I can't believe our number one went for that. I heard he now going to sleep at at, at Tim's shed after that. Yeah, maybe he will. 
Right. This episode is done. It took longer than I thought. So. So.